what kind of aliens would you like to find? Interesting ones. Interesting ones. It's the same kind of people I would like to find. <laughs> Perhaps it would be nice to find alien scientists who figured all this stuff out. It would be good if they're not as dominant as we are. <laughs> a snail that can swim or something. A snail that could swim? Or something like that. <laughs> a friendly one. Friendly one. <laughs> what, what's interesting to me is what kind of biochemistry they have. I would like to find just some of the beautiful things that we see on our own planet. Uh, I'm not sure I want aliens to exist. I'd be very happy just to find aliens that in any sense we could empathize with. Smart, fashionable. Some sort of plant life, recognizably like the plant life we have on Earth, but with animal-like intelligence so I can talk to it. I would rather we were alone. You would prefer it the life on Earth were just unique to Earth and nowhere else in the universe. Some sort of intelligent life or post-life uh, it could be some sort of robotic or machine system, some post-biological intelligence that was not so far beyond the level of human intelligence that it would be incomprehensible. Someone that I can communicate with because then I could ask them about what their life is like. It is great to talk to people who know a lot um, and um, who can yeah, inform you of all kinds of questions. I don't, I don't like to meet any alien. I mean, I think any alien that comes here will not have uh, kindness on its mind. Find something weird. Ah, oh, weirder the better. I mean, isn't that what advances us? Don't... Something that doesn't threaten <laughs> me, doesn't want to eat me. It sounds like an... Me, blue sky, I can have whatever I want. Of course I want something that can tell me all the answers and endlessly satisfy my curiosity. What kind of aliens would you like to find? I don't care about those questions. Curvaceous, beautiful ones. Friendly ones. Friendly ones. Nice ones. Okay. Uh, ones that don't scare me. Ones that don't <laughs> kill me. Uh huh. So you don't want to. Ones be... that can communicate with me. Like the ones in the movies who can always talk English. I would like to find aliens that, uh, that have an interest in, in understanding how, out of the blind processes of organic chemistry, a civilization sh should find for itself a long-term purpose and goal that is not preordained by any process in the natural world but which we have to find for ourselves and finding an intelligence that has come from a, a different environment maybe has a different perspective on the universe has lived under a different sun but shares that interest in what is all this about and what are we going to do for the next 10,000, 100,000 million years of our civilization maybe longer uh, what is their view on that? Have they thought about that? An alien who can teach us to be better species. Better, uh, better in what sense? To respect, to love, if there is such a thing, and uh, to cherish the life. I don't want to meet aliens. <laughs> this is really bad. Say that again? We're, that we're really good scientists. <laughs> you'd like to meet really good scientists. Yeah. So you'd like to meet yourself. Maybe. <laughs> I guess one doesn't everybody, I guess. If we could find life that is intelligent life, that we can communicate with, and that is more advanced than us, that is civilized and peaceful. <laughs> they you would, want to find peaceful, civilized they life? Would, they would perhaps <laughs> be able to, you know, send us uh, information that could perhaps benefit society and make us make, take a quantum leap. So you want to in, find a benign god? Um, I think God is the wrong word. Well, I would like to account in most probable type, which is uh, the, those who survive the uh, bifurcation we're facing now mm. and actually develop into an advanced uh, civilization. As Carl Sagan and I think Newman suggest, proposed in their paper quite a few years ago, that there is kind of a filter which prevents self-destructive civilizations from uh, becoming, uh, from, uh, you surviving. know, uh, surviving and then developing into a more mature one, uh, worthy of the uh, credentials of the Galactic Club. I just don't want to find any more, like, hairy anthropoids in outer space. One that I can talk to. So what's what? it like English? to be inside your... English. No, 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 anything, I don't care. You know. Any language. Esperanto, if you could, <laughs> if you could teach it Esperanto. Morse code, anything. Sign language, I don't care. But for that matter, I'd be happy to talk to a fish. Okay, so you want to talk. Or a tree, you so know. What, so what's it like to be a tree? That's why you want to you want to ask what's it like to be a tree? Yeah. How about I a mushroom? Like, you don't care? Like yeah, mushrooms? I'd like to ask a mushroom. How about too? bacteria? 
Yeah. How about anything. viruses? Anything. How about viruses? I, I, I'd be Conviction happy to talk cells. to anything. Rocks. Conviction cells not going to have a lot of stars? experience. How about stars? Would like to talk to a star? Yes. I'd just like to know... A hydrogen atom. You'd like to talk to an electron. Look, I'm assuming at the moment, because for the sake of the emotional answer, <laughs> that these things will be able to answer and they have enough awareness to be able to tell me what it's like. I'd be perfectly happy finding microbial aliens um, because I know that microbes are running this planet still for the large part and so we owe them a great debt here even though it's they're massively undervalued by us humans uh, but I'd, I'd be equally delighted to find them elsewhere because I think they're the most important organisms in many ways because they run biospheres including this one. If, if all we find is three-headed or two-lunged giraffes or whatever, sorry two-headed three-lunged giraffes or whatever then that would be interesting but you know maybe a little bit less uh, exciting than the, the real possibility of ex expanding the community of, of beings created in the image of God. Ah, oh, I'd like to find intelligent benevolent ones. The stranger the better. That they communicate. Of course they communicate. So are you looking for God? Um, looking for no. omniscient beings who've lived so long that they know all the answers to astronomical, astronomical questions? Yeah, I'm looking for uh, more information, for answers to some of the questions we haven't solved yet. Um, and also learning, uh, and if they are very advanced, they may have learned things, uh, they have, may have learned new laws of physics we haven't figured out yet, uh, they may have learned about new means of communication, and that could uh, save us billions of years, in a way, uh, in advancing us to the next level. Or kill us. That's also possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs>